Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a little script that allows you to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 onto your Raspberry Pi 4 without the use of a PC. So let's get started. Now there's a couple of things I wanted to update you guys about on the channel and everything before I jump into this. So if you are not interested, you could just jump ahead. But yeah, I've actually just got back from vacation, which is a long awaited vacation I needed. Uh, you might have noticed I got a little bit tan, which is perfectly fine. I'm actually burning on some spots. So yeah, it, it was good. It was a long awaited one. It's been years since I've taken a vacation. So it did really, really help to have a little vacation. Since I got back, um, I'm trying to get this channel back on traction which is the Tuesday and Friday uploads and I've also got more videos for my secondary channel which is Nova Spirit TV for my car. I've actually recorded about like seven or eight videos that I haven't edited yet but it's going on that channel. I mean I could put some clips right here of me installing certain things and putting some stuff together but mostly I am going to Try to find a good weekend where I could sit down, edit all those videos, and start uploading them to my other channel. So if you haven't already, please check that out or subscribe to that channel when those videos are going to be posted. Now, I've also upgraded this computer. Uh, I swapped out the AMD graphic card, if you can see right over here, to an NVIDIA 1070 that I had laying around. I formatted this and I am actually going to go work on the gaming channel or the Linux gaming channel that I have as well. Now, Linux gaming has been getting a little bit more traction recently due to the whole Steam Deck. So I figured it is a great time to jump back into it and to show you a little bit more things about Linux gaming. So I have that channel kickstarted again. Um, I have a couple of ideas for that and I will be doing it. I've also got a few ideas that will work in between of the Subaru and this channel. So I got a couple of ideas like, you know, how I did the Raspberry Pi radio. I got a few more projects coming up like that for this channel as well. So I'll be putting those here and then more of the mechanical parts where I'm installing an exhaust or doing something with the car, I'll put it onto my other channel. So uh, that is it with all the updates as far as uh, what's going on with um, the channel directions and where I'm taking it. I do have a lot of the stuff going on. I just gotta find time to sit down, plan, and put those things together, edit, and everything, and upload. So yeah, a lot more stuff is gonna come soon. So thanks for hearing me out. Now, to get back into the video, yes, you can now install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 4 without the use of a PC, all contained in one script. It's actually made by this creator called Bot Spot. And if that name is very familiar to you, that's because he is also the same creator who created Pi Apps, which is an awesome application for your Pi to install applications like this. Now he made a dedicated script just to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 onto your Raspberry Pi, and I've tested it out. It's, it actually works seamlessly. Now to jump into it, this is gonna be an overlay because I did it on another PC to test because I didn't know how long it was gonna take. So first thing you need to do is pop over to his GitHub and as you can see, it's actually got all the instructions in there. Now I recommend using a 32 gigabyte SD card just for the base ISO build because I tried to use it on a 16. It did say it was gonna work on a 16, but I ran out of space and it was causing issues. So I swapped over to a 32 gig and it had no problems. You also need to connect either a second hard drive to it, a USB hard drive, or, or a SD card that will be able to contain the Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now with all that in place, scroll down his website a little and copy down the first Git script. So you could just copy right over here and paste it into your terminal and it'll download everything you need. Next, he does have a little script that you could just change the directory over and run the install script. What I did was manually just change the directory and run the install. So it, it, it doesn't matter how you want to do it. You could copy and paste it or you could just do what I did. Give it a few minutes because it's going to download all the repositories and the software that it needs to um, run the GUI. And once that's up, it's a matter of selecting what you want. Now, it's experimental on running it on Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, with the codes itself, technically you could run it on 2 and 3, but I don't recommend it. Just run Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4 and you would be fine. Select what you want, either Windows 10 or Windows 11. It will download everything for you, so you don't have to worry about finding the ISO location or anything. And then once you're done with that, select the location where you want to install. In my case, I have 120 gigabyte SSD that I just pointed it to. Now from here on, once you click next, this process took me about two hours. So allow for that amount of time to extract and put everything onto your SSD. Like I said, it's about two hours.
once you're done with that, you'll be presented with the screen to reboot and take out the SD card and then start it up with the USB or whatever SD card you put this in. And that is about it. Just let it run for the first time. It will take about like 15 minutes to run through all the prompt, device settings and everything just to, uh, for the first boot. And then you go through all your settings. Now I like Windows 11 and Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4. It actually works pretty well, considering that it is a ARM based device with only four cores at 1.5 gigahertz and limited amount of RAM. But I do use it for remote desktop purposes. Like I leave it running as a server. So my other desktop could pop into it and use it for certain needs. But yeah, it actually works pretty reliably on this setup. Now there are ways supposedly to get Wi-Fi working. I have not tested this theory yet, but I do have everything hooked up to my eight gigabyte uh, Raspberry Pi with ethernet. So it, it would work perfectly fine for me. I don't really use the Wi-Fi for this feature. Now, again, one of my main things I do recommend if you ever try to play around with this operating system, get it installed on a Raspberry Pi, tuck it away somewhere with the ethernet cable and you can remote into it and just use it like a normal Windows PC. You might feel a little sluggishness here and there because it's just a Raspberry Pi 4, but it actually works very well on little tiny applications. I wouldn't recommend serving something with it, but you could at least install some software in there and get something running. Uh, I never tried a Minecraft server, but you probably could get a Minecraft server running on the Raspberry Pi. Windows 11. In conclusion, I can't believe how simple it is now just to get it working because in my thought, I always thought you needed DISM to inject all the drivers and everything into the Windows WIM. But apparently we could do it through Linux commands and this. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this command actually worked on a regular x86 computer 32-bit and actually have this process go a lot faster instead of using uh, the Raspberry Pi. But the whole point on this is that you can actually create a Windows 10 or Windows 11 image right from your Raspberry Pi and it did it very easily. So yeah, kudos to him. Uh, check out his GitHub. Uh, he does have a Discord. I'll leave a link to his Discord as well. If you guys have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to his channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.